Ursula, come out of there. We know you're in there. We saw you go in there in the last episode. But I'm not in the shell. It's all clucked up. Let's look for another way. Ah, oh, whatever. Uh, okay, hello everyone and welcome back to my Kingdom Hearts Episode 51, I think. 51 or 52. It's one of the two. Probably 52. Um, in the last part we killed Ursula here. This is her cauldron. And in this shell, there is an item. Okay, in this part we're going to kill Ursula again. Because you can never kill Ursula enough times. Uh, in order to get that shell with the item, you can't actually open it without going out of the area and coming back in the area again. Sorry, I'm, I'm all over the place with my commentary today. Yay! Once you do that, you'll see... Ow, don't swim into it. There's an urchin that's very spiky and will hurt you if you swim into it, as you just saw. So, if you use fire on that, then... It explodes! And the shell opens and the treasure chest falls out. Which has inside it a uh, mega something. No, it's a mithril. Mithril. Just a mithril. Nothing important, but whatever. Uh, now we're going to do some ability changing. So we've got loads and loads of ability points since the last time I opened this menu. So Sora, I'm going to put Aerial Sweep on. I'm going to put Berserk on. And I'm going to put Air Combo Plus on. Air Combo Plus I don't think does anything in this um, world. But I might as well keep putting it on for the next world and stuff. Uh, Goofy, you're going to get second wind and second chance, both of which just give him a bit more survivability, let him last a bit longer in fights, so... Ariel, can't do anything with. Donald, you can have you can have both your abilities. Donald doesn't get many abilities, but you get the, he, he'll usually have more AP points than his abilities at all of his abilities cost. In the last part, we also got Mermaid Kick, which is, uh, it lets you swim faster, and more powerfully, apparently. Um, in Atlantica, in fact, if I should show you this... You can, if you tap circle twice, you can you swim really fast in a straight in a straight line. It's really hard to turn though. And what's really annoying about this is you can double tap square as well, and it'll do the same thing. And what's really annoying about this is if you press circle and square, then he does the same thing. Which is kind of annoying if you like want to go up and then you overshoot it and then end up trying to go down again with square and then you end up swimming off in a straight line. So it, it can be a bit annoying with the controls, but whatever. Um, in terms of items, I thought I'd give Sora a nice variety of items. Let's I'm going to give him um, an elixir, a mega ether. In fact, two mega ethers. Maybe a mega elixir just in case, and just an ether just in case he's the only one that needs the MP. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Oh, one more thing. Blizzara switch to thunder. I've forgotten about that for like the last 10 episodes and I've always ended up wanting to use Thunder and I've always ended up using freaking Blizzara. Ah, uh, whatever. Okay, uh, Ursula ran away and obviously as you saw at the very beginning of the episode she, we can't follow her through the direction that she went. So we're going to instead go this way back to the save point. I'm not actually going to save it. So if you just keep going on, past the fork and all the way back to the sunken ship. Now that we've got Mermaid Kick we can swim against that current that was blocking us before. Up here. I said up. See, that's where it comes annoying because I was trying to go up and he was swimming off in a straight line because of Mermaid Kick. <sighs> Whatever. Um, and she's actually in that hole over there. So there was no other way to get to it before, but if you keep tapping circle towards the current, you can actually get in. And to the question mark, question mark, question mark area. Which is just a big area of open sea and ocean and stuff. You pathetic fools! I rule the seas now! Oh, there's the BP oil spill. The sea and all its spoils bow to my power! And she's had a bit of a growth spurt, but whatever. You can see the BP oil spill underneath her. Um, she has a lot of abilities. And you can tell which ability she's going to use by little audio clues. So if she goes, bah, it means she's about to suck you in. You should use Mermaid Kick to swim away from her. Uh, if she shouts, get ready for this, I think that's the bubble she spawns from her mouth. You need to not touch the bubbles. All throughout the fight, there'll be like little thunder things swim, uh, following you around. Uh, you need to not go in her mouth when she does that. Uh. But if you stay close to her, because the only way to attack her is to attack 
her head directly. So basically, stay close to her. Swim away if she's about to use that. Is it that? No, it's not that. Oh, she also has the ability like that. This is a good ability because it's easy to run away from by using Mermaid Kick to the side. And she will be a bit uh, tired after using it, so she'll you get plenty of chance to hit. Try and avoid the lightning things, but because they're always on you and you're not really moving much, mm, they're a bit hard to avoid. Oh, uh, and those bubbles. But, uh, swim away, swim away, Sora, swim away! <laughs> Come on, okay, This I, I believe, genuinely, this is one of the hardest bosses in the game. So, honestly, Sora, if you can... If you can kill her in the first try, I will give you, like, five cookies, honestly. Because that is how hard I believe this boss is. It's five cookies worthy. Every... Uh, I've always been stuck on this boss every time I've played this game. And if I do it first time now, I will be really shocked. Alright, when you get her to half health, she gets another ability. Um, which is probably just going to spam because it's really annoying. Oh, stop swimming down, Sora. There we go. She's going to use it. And it does that! Big circle of lightning. You need to swim all the way away from her when she does it. Otherwise you will be hit by lightning and that thing hurts. Swim away, Cure. If you're going to use Cure, uh, don't stay in the same place and use Cure twice. You can only use it once and can, then you have to kind of move because of all the lightning that's everywhere. And swim in. Get her, get her. I think I'm a bit higher level than I was last time when I did this. Oh, oh. Huh. Eh, that's not good, that's not good. Swim to the side, swim to the side, sorry. Swim to the side, swim to the side. Okay. In you go, in you go, and get her! This won't be pretty. No, that's not good. Run away. Run up. Uh, cure, cure, sorry. Uh, Dad, stay away! <laughs> Don't let her eat you. Away, away, away. And in. Uh, away! <laughs> away, in, away, in. And then shake it all about, and you do the whole cookie, and she's dead! Uh, that's definitely the best kill of her I've ever had. No, the oil spill! <laughs> and you get the trident back. Daddy, I'm so sorry. Please don't be angry with her. It's my fault. You followed Ursula because I wouldn't let you follow your heart. And when you found that crystal, I lost my temper and destroyed it. No shit. Oh yeah, the crystal. Why did you destroy it? That crystal held the power to reveal the keyhole. The keyhole is dangerous. I have to keep you away from it at any cost. Daddy. Keeper, I have one more request. Seal the keyhole. My trident holds the power to reveal the keyhole. Of course, that's what we had in mind from the start. Dumbass. Where is the keyhole, Daddy? You should know better than anyone. It's in your grotto. Really? Sora, let's go. And you, your thunder gets upgraded to Thundara, which is really good. You get Anthem's Report 3, which is the second piece of Anthem's Report. Uh, we're not going to look at it, though. The save point here, which I'm not going to use again, because I want to hopefully seal the keyhole in this episode. So run, 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 run. Okay, don't run. Swim, 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 to, the, to Ariel's Grotto. <laughs> I've got about, what, one and a half minutes left? Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, Zara. There's also no enemies around, which is good! Which means in the next part. Uh, stop using Mermaid Kick. And if you swim forward a little bit. The keyhole is revealed! Soon. 
There it is, just floating in the middle of nowhere, in a glass prism. I don't know. And we've sealed the keyhole of Atlantica and completed the. the I've, I've lost count of the number of places we completed anyway. Tell me, Sora, your world? What's it like? All about that. Sorry for lying to you. <laughs> it's okay. Besides, if you can travel to other worlds, maybe I can too. Wouldn't count on it. So many places I want to see. I know I'll get there someday. I'll find a way, somehow. I'm sure of it. Well, if you find it, do me a favor and leave me out of it. <laughs> 